Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, I want to start this video off by saying I apologize to all of you guys. I think I might owe some of you guys an apology because I might have gave you guys some inaccurate information um, based on, it's always my, it, it, it wasn't my intention to give you guys inaccurate information. I always try to give you guys the best information for your business that's going to help you grow and that's going to help your business flourish and it's going to maximize your time and um, help your business be efficient. If you notice lately, I've been really big on being efficient. But sometimes efficiency might not be the way, the direction that you want to go, right? Um, as garment decorators, as uh, artistic people, as people that uh, are passionate about what we do, um, from, you know, when we get an idea to bringing that idea to life, the whole process of creating something. If you're anything like me, it's a, it's an enjoyable process and it's fun every step of the way. And I, I noticed something. I like to, I like to analyze things and, and think of things as they happen. And I noticed something that happened to me specifically that I wanted to share with you guys. Right? So if you guys noticed a couple, I don't know, maybe like a year ago, I kind of like totally fell off with um, making videos, cutting vinyl, about cutting vinyl and different types of vinyl related type of videos, right? I think I know what the issue is. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy doing this whole process right here. I enjoy it. Sublimation, the SG-1000, I enjoy doing this. Another sublimation machine, haven't used it yet, didn't put ink in it, but I'm quite sure I'm gonna enjoy doing it because it's sublimation, right? I even enjoy doing this. Embroidery, you all know how I feel about embroidery. I love doing embroidery. I enjoy doing this. This right here, I know the lighting's bad, I know, but this right here, the Graph Tech platter cutter, I do not enjoy doing. All right, how do I, where do I wanna start? Okay, so years ago I started off with the Silhouette Cameo. Love this thing, love the software, Love how you love the interface and how the things that you can do in the interface. And I think just like a lot of people, when you get on the cameo and when you cut your first vinyl and you transfer it to a shirt, the whole process is pretty enjoyable. And it's something that you can sit down and do over and over and over again and find joy out of making different things using this whole entire system with the silhouette studio and stuff like that. You got people that don't even cut with the Cameo, that use the Silhouette Studio software to create other things, to do other things in the garment decorating and creative space, right? But, the Graph Tech. Hmm, how can I, how can I explain this? Okay, so the Graph Tech is something that I got because just like you guys, sometimes I'm influenced, right? And people say, you see stuff in the comments like, why don't you get a real vinyl cutter? Why don't you get a real cutter plotter? That the Silhouette Cameo is for hobbyists. It's not a real cutter. Guys, don't listen to any of those people when they talk to you guys because like, if it cuts vinyl, it's a vinyl cutter. I don't know what people mean when they say it's not a real vinyl cutter. It's not, it's only a hobbyist cutter whatever if it works for you it works for you and I want to tell you guys kind of defend myself a little bit the reason why I told you guys that you might consider this for your business you might want to consider this for your business is because it truly is a faster cutter it truly is a more precise cutter it truly is a stronger cutter it can max, it truly can maximize your efficiency because it's cutting vinyl faster. And it's, 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 and part of the uh, problem that people have with the cameo is that it's loud, right? It's loud, it makes that noise when it's cutting, right? This, this, you don't have that problem with this, right? 
But the problem for me is the graph tech and the whole ecosystem is just not fun to use. When I think about vinyl cutting lately, the last year or so, and I think about the whole process and I'd say, okay, well, I got this idea. I want to put on a shirt. Okay, I'm going to choose that vinyl, this vinyl, this vinyl, and I'm going to cut it out. When I think about using this machine, I just don't, I just, I just don't want to deal with it. I just don't want to deal with it because the software is not attractive to look at. It seems to me like I know I don't know all the functionality in the software, but I don't want to learn all the so all the functionality in the um, software because it's just not a uh, well built out software, I, in my opinion. And the plotter itself is not fun to use. I mean, when you get it going and it's cutting, you see how fast it cuts and all that. It's very impressive. I'm not gonna lie. It's very impressive. It's smooth. It's quiet, and the whole system and all that. You can check out my videos on it, right? But still, I'm just not thrilled to use this cutter at all. And that, with, with, with that being said, like, it just makes me not cut vinyl as often as, I don't want to say, I, I should, as often as I should, because vinyl is a key part of anybody's business, any garment decorating business, right? Now, this thing, on the other hand, because I cut, I used it the other day to cut some flock vinyl, right? Um, some flock for, for a rhinestone template. And I tried to use it, this, but this is a settings. Uh, anyway, when I dove into the software with the Silhouette Studio and I cut my flock uh, template, that's when I realized what the issue was and what was missing for me. I can only speak for me. And the issue is like, Regardless of the fact that this vinyl cutter is You guys know what I'm talking about. It makes an annoying sound when most people think it's annoying. It doesn't bother me at all But regardless of that fact After I use this after not using it for a long time. I really enjoyed that process I don't know if it's the silhouette studio. I don't know if it's the vinyl cutter itself I don't I think you know what I think it is. I think it's because of how easy it is to use versus this and having to dial in settings on this ancient menu that really is dated. It's just, it's just not an enjoyable cutter to use. Sorry to anybody who I might have influenced that purchased this right here, but even though it takes longer, even though it's not as efficient, I think from now on, I'm going to be using my Silhouette Cameo to cut vinyl now again and, to, uh, and to, to, to especially to cut rhinestone templates because the rhinestone template maker is built right into the software and it's easy to use and it's user friendly, right? This might have some stuff built into it for creating rhinestone templates. I don't know. I don't care to know. But the fact is... It's not as easy to use, it's not as user friendly, it's not as attractive to use as this software or this device. Now, I know I'm going to probably get some slack in the comments, some people saying, oh man, you're crazy, whatever, well, what do you care about, having fun or making money? Both, to be honest with you, I care about both. In order for me, in order for to sustain my business and to order in order to like do things on a day to day basis and to do it long term, I decided that I need to en enjoy doing what I'm doing. And if I don't enjoy doing what I'm doing, it's not worth it to me. Right. So that's why in this case, it seems to me like I would definitely compromise efficiency, quietness productivity even or whatever else you want to say for enjoyability i'd rather enjoy the process and spend a little bit more time doing the process and feel more this makes me feel like i'm attached to the to the product to the project a little bit more this makes it feel like work right this is like a delicious smoothie and this is like a vegetable that you hate, right? This, that's the only way I can 
like try to try to get you guys to understand. This is like your parents forcing you to eat vegetables when you were younger. This makes it seem like a job. This makes it seem like, wow, and I get paid to do this? This is great. This is the life that I want to live right here. Not this one. Sorry. Not to say that the Graph Tech does not have a place. Not to say that Graph Tech is not a good cutter because it is. It's a great cutter, very well built, very robust, very heavy duty, very fast, very quiet, way faster, way quieter than this machine. But at the end of the day, what you guys have to realize is you have to do what's best for you and your business and you have to do it in a way that makes it sustainable for yourself and makes it enjoyable for yourself. If the process of what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis is not enjoyable, ultimately you're going to dread it. It's just going to be another job. And going into work, you're going to hate it, right? And you want to kind of separate yourself from the things that you hate and lean more towards living a fulfilled, a fulfilled life doing the things that you love and the things that you're passionate about and the things that you enjoy doing. I enjoy using this, that some people might say a hobbyist system, better than I enjoy using this commercial professional system. It's just not fun to me. It makes me not want to cut vinyl because every time I cut vinyl, I got to get reacquainted with the settings and stuff like that. It's, it's different if I never had this and I just jumped on this and this is all that I knew. That would probably be different because it's probably some people in the comments that never touched a silhouette cameo and start off with a plotter cutter, right? But working with both of them, right, this is more enjoyable to use. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's what I think. So. Uh, use my Heat Transfer Warehouse affiliate link to purchase yourself a Silhouette Cameo Pro. And I'm going to say that now I'm going to use the Pro as opposed to the Plus because the Pro can definitely handle cut more in one time. So I do have still have some type of efficiency there versus um, using the Plus or the regular 4, right? So. Um, let me know what your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if you agree with me. Um, I know not everybody has both machines, but I do, and that's what I've been thinking, and that's what just uh, popped into my head yesterday, as a matter of fact, as I cut some flock. I went to go cut the flock for the uh, rhinestone template, and I'm like, no, I'm not dealing with that. Let me just break this out and use this. I broke it out, and I used it and I realize how much I missed it and how much I enjoy it, this does not give me that same feeling. So, I'm a cameo guy. With that being said, Caesar came out with the Juliet. I just hope that the interface and the whole experience is just as enjoyable, if not more enjoyable, than the Silhouette Cameo Pro system. I don't know, I don't have one, We'll have to see. So, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Just want to let you know what I thought and just want to apologize for those that I may have misled. I take what I do very seriously and I don't want to mislead anybody into doing something that might cause their business to plummet because it's not as enjoyable. And I'm an artist just like you guys are artists and I know what artists like. Artists like, part of being an artist is enjoying the process, enjoying what you're doing, right? This makes it enjoyable. In my opinion, this doesn't. Thank you so much for watching. Alan Wade, talk to you guys on the next video. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, we rockin' with the best, baby.